Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. What you're going through right now is fucking monumental. I mean, it, it is it is a bear, man. I, I can't imagine what you and your family is going through, what your wife is going through. Uh, like you were saying about making all those phone calls over and over again. Um, I mean, I'm almost crying. My wife just walks in. I, I, I can't imagine putting my family through that and having them go through something like this on a day-to-day basis, constantly being told no for a job that, you know, you volunteered to do. And uh, I mean, it's a really simple expectation that if I'm going to go fuck people up and endure this shit, maybe just like help me out a little bit when I get back. It's, it seems like a simple thing, right? Like in, in almost every culture that's ever existed in humanity. Uh, and it's not why we do it by the way, but, returning soldiers especially are dead and injured or revered right Mm -hmm. because of the sacrifice they made and it's just not happening anymore honestly it's not like if a a fucking comedian who 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 ventured into drama and and political activism has to go in front of congress to get people who responded to the 9-11 attacks taken care of what the fuck is happening easy to me yeah and and for it to get press and like for those of you out at home who are listening and saying hey man the legal process, how hard could it be? It is a fucking nightmare day in and day out that is never ending. I'm sure you probably talk to your lawyer at this point more than you talk to your parents or your, or your wife. Oh, yeah. Yeah, pretty close. You know, it, then when we started this, they say any a, t- a typical bill would take about three years. Mm-hmm. That's a standard just a bill, not something like this that's 70 year old or 70 years old that you're challenging. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, between Natalie, I mean, we're down to what, just over a year, about a year. Pretty I talk amazing. to his lawyer more than I talk to yeah, anybody. Yeah. <laughs> well, Jared's, but, uh, yeah, Jared's, Jared's yeah. looking for uh, uh, <laughs> legal <laughs> advice. Yeah. Yeah. Legal call now. <laughs> yeah. You might need it at the end. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we could all use some legal advice from time to time. I use, I use uh, the girl I'm breaking up with as my divorce attorney. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a first. Can you represent me? Yeah, no, you represent I'm divorcing me? you. Yeah, yeah, but like, can no, you represent can me? Can you also represent me? <laughs> We should do that in cat court. <laughs> yes, that is in cat court. Yeah. <laughs> How can people help? How can people get involved in, uh, and help your situation? Um, I mean, I mean, there's a few. I mean, if you know, like, you know, anybody in, in um, politics, um, you know, movie stars, anybody that has influence anywhere, mm-hmm. um, anybody that knows, you know, anybody in the media, that's generally like the gist of it. Um, other than that, it's <laughs> reaching out to the politicians of the judicial uh, Judiciary Committee on the in the Senate. So it's the Senate that we need. Um, as well as Armed Services Committee um, in, the, in the Senate. Also, on top of that, you know, I don't really like to tell people, like, do this, do that. It's, man, whatever you think can help, fire away. You yeah. really can't go wrong at this point because right now it is nothing. Until it passes, it's nothing. So you can't do wrong necessarily. If um, anybody out there that has a decent <coughs> influence following or anything that listens yeah. that wants to jump in on this and wants to talk to them, Hit me up on Instagram and I'll forward you the info. You know, John yeah. Burke did a big piece mm-hmm. uh, for you recently, and a couple other guys. You'd be great on Jocko to go on Jocko's show. That's a, that's another yeah. big show. Uh, Marcus Luttrell, uh, team never quit. Yeah, Rogan would do this. Yeah, uh, Joe Rogan. Rogan should do this. Yes, um, if you're listening, that that would be fantastic. Be awesome. Yeah. Um, and uh, look, Dakota Meyer. Dakota Meyer is another yeah. one who's who's got a great show. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if if anybody's listening out there. Uh, help this man out and, and, and get him the press that he needs. Obviously, we'll push this as much as we can um, going forward. But, uh, man, um, thank you for coming down. I appreciate and, and it. Thank doing you. the show. Um, this is the point in the show where we, uh, we do the drinking bro of the week, which is somebody who's inspired you or uh, helped you along the way. Um, it could be any walk of life, by the way, for this one. Uh, who would you like to give the drinking bro of the week to? Um kind of one in the same i mean really it's just my family you know i mean i it, it this not to get too personal with it but literally between all the stuff between dc the treatments um i mean my family's pretty much falling apart at the moment mm-hmm. um because of this yeah it's it's just it's become a lot um uh, i don't want to get too personal with it but it's it's literally my life is being destroyed daily through it but uh I got I got to see it through. I can't I don't have a choice, but I mean, I'm between fighting cancer, DC, 
being medically discharged, you know, I got two daughters at home that are growing up. They're almost 11 and 13. My wife is obviously definitely struggling in our marriage. Um, so it's, I don't have much going for me right now. My cancer, my cancer treatment, I don't even know if it's working yet, but, uh, I don't know what else to do, but, um, so really it's just my wife and my kids. Okay. Um, sorry. No, no. Uh, do you think you'll be alive by the time this bill passes? Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I believe I'll be around for quite a while. Um, at least that's my hope. Um, I've never quit anything in my life other than <laughs> dive school when I've couldn't pass because well, I had to cancer. Be fair, dive, <laughs> dive school is the hardest school in the military. Right? Yeah, that's yeah. What I'm you get you get like drowned on purpose, which seems stupid. So. <laughs> who, who signs up for that shit? Like, hey, we're gonna uh, drown you and then bring you back. Like, whoa, let me stop you right there. <laughs> Fuck, do you say to me? Right? <laughs> we'll bring it back to a, a lighter note. What do you enjoy as a person outside of the military in real life? Um. Uh, really, I just you know watching my kids do sports. My daughter is an aspiring gymnast. My oldest is a softball player. So you know, going to watch them do their stuff, is, it's it's amazing. You know, and then uh, you know we have a boat, so trying to get them out on the lake as much as I can, and then just spending time with the wife as much as I can. Are you, you a know? long range so, guy? Am I a long range Shoot. guy? Yeah. I mean, that's what I've been doing most of my career. Did yeah. you, have you drown proof your kids yet? <laughs> <laughs> Getting there. They're, they're testing me, that's for sure. I mean, anybody, <laughs> but, that, anybody that jumps into that stuff, it's like you guys love it. Yeah. The science yeah. behind behind. Yeah. Behind it's definitely uh, it's, it's a thinking game. You know, you got to – like I said, when, I, when we started this in D.C., I didn't have a clue. I had not a clue. I Like, sure, okay, we'll figure it out. And it's like, I mean, you're all in or nothing. There's no other way. I mean, there's so many back doors to it all, and there's so many paths that you got to take and who you know and what you know. And, uh, you know, if you, if you don't – figure out the system that's where natalie's just she kills it you know what i mean and without her work ethic of you know five thousand hours in one day it, it wouldn't be anywhere it is today so and how did you guys meet how were you introduced uh just through that conversation my, my mom found her um she found a i think a case that she had won for uh, somebody in the military and she just took a shot and it worked out that's amazing so. Uh, what, what's her full name, by the way? Natalie so Quam. Yeah, yep. so we can get out, get that out to the Natalie audience. Quam, and uh, it's for, she works down in the Whistleblower Law Firm in Tampa, Florida. I think it's K H A W A M. Yep. Right. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that's awesome. She's uh, dope. Yeah, we'd, we'd like to have her on the show too. She was we supposed will. to be here, yeah. but she yeah. uh, had to go work five thousand hours in a day. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. She had an emergency in Tampa yeah. for one of her clients. Gotcha. So. Gotcha. Um, listen, man. Uh, God, thanks for being on the show. Uh,